Hi everyone, here's my uh, new little circuit board. I just made this prototype up. The parts, as you can see by the ruler there for comparison, the parts are uh, quite small. Some of the parts, uh, those that are resistors and capacitors, are only about one by two millimeters in size. So the solder joints in them are very small. Um, even the legs on those chips, like that one's quite uh, large by comparison, but there's little tiny ones. Don't know if that's going to focus. There's some little tiny stuff there. So that gives you a bit of an idea of the scale, the size of the parts that you find in your typical pixels and little modules and things like that these days. They're solderable by hand, but uh, only just. So uh, I used my little uh, head magnifier to, uh, to do that. So this has got WS2811, uh, three 5050 RGB LEDs, a little 5 volt regulator and a line driver. So I'll be able to place these um, little modules a fair sort of distance apart. They've effectively got a pixel extender built into the output of each one to drive the next one down a fair sort of length of cable. So I'll be able to, uh, once you shouldn't have any trouble with uh, data integrity for them. So uh, they're going to go in the uh, tint tube lights. I'm going to upgrade those. The last couple of years um, I've just had them doing their own thing with a little micro driving the LEDs or a WS2801 but this time I'm going to uh, feed it with pixel data from the main system from the computer control gear and um, at the moment I've just got a little pixel tester and 12 volt power supply running this. So there's a hole in the middle of the circuit board that's for the uh, cable gland when this is up in the tint tube, that's for the cable gland to sit in and the cable will come through the cable gland and then attach onto the board. So uh, that's the reason I didn't just use one of the standard um, uh, circular modules that you can get off uh, Ray Wu, etc. So I need the hole in the middle. You can buy NeoPixels, um, which would have sort of done the same thing, but they're 5 volts and I wanted 12 volts uh, to allow for a bit more voltage drop to make them a bit more reliable. Um, and the NeoPixels, every LED is addressable and I don't want that. I simply want the whole thing to act as one um, pixel. So it just uses three channels where a NeoPixel ring would have used, you know, 30 or 60 channels or something crazy like that. And you wouldn't have really seen the effect properly in the tint tube because it would have diffused most of it and it just would have looked like a slightly moving blob of, of coloured light. So uh, I think this is a, a good compromise way to do it. Slightly fiddly to build but um, I think it'll be worth it. So I just need to build up a bunch more of these and upgrade the temp tubes.